Hello there. Yeah, you clicked on this video wondering what is the best province in all of CK3? Maybe wonder, is it Ile de France? No, it's not Ile de France. Ile de France is disappointing. You can't build this castle for or the, the church for a billion years. Um, Byzantines, is it is it Constantinople? Uh no. It's not. Uh Constantinople's cool, but there's nothing else. It's a, it's a one holding province. Uh, the walls are kind of cool, right? Those walls are good. But if you're Byzantium, you have primogeniture succession. So, like, who really gives a damn? You could be a one province minor and bumfuck nowhere coach show or something. You'll end up taking over the world if you start with uh, primogeniture succession in goddamn 867. Okay? That is insane. Uh, it's. Who know? Maybe there is some better place in India, but like, who gives a damn about India? Like, like, look, look at this guy. This guy's just naked, right? There's, you just got dudes who are just naked in India. I don't even know if he's supposed to be naked, right? In India, the AI's just gained sentience. He just took his clothes off to flex on his whole of body, right? He's just flexing on people because who gives a shit about India? They didn't even catch that one. Um, but really, uh, the best province in the entire game is in Croatia. It's Zahumlaji. Zahumlaji. Yes, you know that that place that we all know and love, Zahumlaji. Yes, not not Rome, not Ile de France, not uh not not Praha or or some other random German place I definitely can't pronounce. No, it's uh it's it's uh Zahumlaji. And the reason why Zahumlaji is by far the best in the entire game is it's fucking eight holdings big. This is the biggest province in the entire game, holdings-wise. It's an eight-province county. I have, and, and you may be wondering, why is the Humlegi eight provinces big, right? Nobody else has eight provinces, right? Ile-de-France is six. Uh, I don't know where the fuck Fez is or all the other ones, right? Um, if we go to Baghdad, oh, man, I don't know where, where Baghdad is here. Who plays in the Middle East? You know, we're Crusader Kings. Um, but uh, Baghdad is, it's also, it's also like only five. Uh, oh my god, I'm searching the wrong one. I'm choking here. We're goofing. Baghdad. Where is it? Oh, it's right there in front of me the entire time. Uh, right here. Uh, which, don't get me wrong, Baghdad is pretty good. Because you get, you can construct a special, you get the House of Wisdom. Which is really good. Uh, the one problem with it is realistically, it's going to be a pain in the ass to take Baghdad away from the Abbasids or any Muslims or like Mecca. Mecca and Baghdad are both really good because you get these really big buffs, right? These buffs are really good in, in the early game. Um, but Zahumlaji has eight provinces. This is the only eight, eight holding province in the game. Right, because in CK three, duchies don't really matter. Uh, well, I guess they do. The the duchy, um, the capital, the capital, the county capital of the duchy is what matters. Right, having the entirety of the duchy yourself doesn't really get you much, if we're just being honest. Right, holding the the big, the big boy one, so you can build your fancy uh, special building. Right, everyone, you get one of these, or you get you get one for each duchy. Uh, but realistically, you're only gonna have two. Otherwise, all your vassals are gonna hate you, and that's respectable. So unless you want to cheese and just hold five billion duchies, which you can, you could do that, build the special building and be broken. But that's kind of more of a cheesy strategy. We're we're talking about what's realistically achievable, and this is where Zahumlaji shines. Because Zuhumlaji has the highest floor of any province in the game, right? Any one county. Because Zuhumlaji, if you build your six castles, right? Your five castles, so you have six six uh, castles in Zuhumlaji, you're set for the entire game. You can just hold this, and no matter what your succession is, you will always... Someone's calling me, I don't care what they have to say. Uh, no matter what happens... You will always inherit everything in here. So even if you have 5 billion brothers and you got forced partition, you will always inherit 
everything in Zahumla G, which this is really important because in CK3, this is a game where you really want to, you really, really want to put all of your eggs in one basket with one county. Because what happens is if you split your eggs into two baskets, you know, say like Bohemia, Bohemia on paper, this one right here, right? The Duchy of Bohemia, these, these three holdings right here look amazing, right? These look amazing on paper. Uh, but the problem is, is if you split your holdings in between two of these, right? These three, you put them and you're right at the top. Until you get uh, forced, until you get primogeniture, which you're not going to get until like 400 years into the game, especially if you're playing not a, a really developed culture, uh, because, you know, it's based off your culture in this version uh, in CK3. You're going to have your three good provinces, but whenever you die, if you have these three, right? And you were to be this guy right here. You control all three and you have two sons. You're going to inherit the one, the capital. And then your brother's going to inherit these two and you're going to get the kingdom. And then it sucks because you're going to lose two out of your three eggs. Right? And even if you split it in between these two right here, you're going to lose one of your two eggs. So in CK3, you would rather have one really thick Zahumliji than have multiple smaller places because succession suck it is it is rough in this game you can't cheese as an early primogeniture in this game you generally your options are going to be uh abuse the disinherit with renown or murdering you're not going to murder your sons uh but the best option is the homology just for that that reason in itself right you can make an argument for like a good old you know, uh, Constantinople. But again, if you're playing as the, the Byzantines, you already have primogeniture on day one. So you really can't fail with, with the Byzantines. They're OP. It's boring, but it's the reality. You just kind of, you just have, you have the best succession in the game, really. Most of your problems in CK, in Crusader Kings 2 and 3, are going to be related to succession and this makes succession easy therefore making the game pretty easy uh on top of the fact that the abbasids are like little bitches in ck3 they are they're never a threat to anyone until like 400 years into the game if they get to actually play the game uh but usually the byzantines still body slam them anyway uh, at least in my games i've had like a couple where they fall apart but that that in its itself is really really the crux of it. Uh, Rashka is seven too, but also but really Zoomliji is the best. It's eight. Eight is just amazing because it's one extra. Because you got to also remember it's not really eight. It's six, so you got to take two. So like one that's you know if you look over here Provence, uh, you know a lot of these they look good, right? They look good. Like oh man six, but it's really four, right? And Thus, you have to split your eggs in two baskets, and it's just, it sucks. Whereas Zahumliji is the best province of the game. And on top of that, it's really, realistically, you can either play as Croatia and, you know, do the standard swear fealty to, to Byzantium. Uh, you definitely want to do that. You don't want to swear fealty to anyone else because they're kingdoms, and you're going to want to create the kingdom of Croatia. But that's, that's its own, I guess, separate video if I wanted to do that, if anyone wanted but really, what it comes down to is Zahumliji, not only is it amazing because of its high floor, right? You can't really go wrong with Zahumliji. Uh, but it's also amazing because it's relatively easy to get, right? You're going to have to lay the... Sm You're going to have to grow big enough to fight West Francia to take Ile de France. You're going to have to get big enough to fight the Byzantines to take... Uh, Constantinople, right? To take Baghdad, to take uh, some, whatever the who gives a shit about India. We don't care about that. That place doesn't exist, right? To fight the Pope, you're gonna have some problems on your hand trying to take Rome from him. Uh, but nobody, nobody wants Zahumliji. Zahumliji gets it gets left in the dark by everyone, right? You just have to fight some Croatian people, right? Some some you know, and that's that's easy, or easy peasy. 
trust me. Or you can be them and you can grow great. And you can never have to worry about succession in your life because he got Zahumlaji. And uh, really, that's that's it. Uh, this video is probably going to... Yeah, it's, we're at 10 minutes. Uh, I probably ranted on there for a bit long. Uh, but really, you only needed to watch the first few minutes of the video. Really, the first minute. Uh, till you see Zahumlaji. Um, and that's it. And until next time, if you like the video, leave a like if you have any... Uh, feedback or if, if there's any if there's an even bigger one if there's a nine province or a nine holding county in this game let me know because i've been looking but the biggest one i found is the humlegi um and yeah until next time take care